Hey guys, this is Darth Magnus. So I just got my Chromecast 2 in the mail and I figured you guys could use it in an unboxing video. It's not going to be the greatest thing you ever watched, obviously. But, you know, if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, I'm happy to, I'm happy to oblige. Alright, so here's the newest Chromecast. Uh, definitely the very first thing you're going to notice is that it's going to be a completely different design. Um, if you guys have the first Chromecast, it, it looks more like a, like a big thumb drive. Uh, that plugs in directly into the HDMI, and then on the opposite end you have the USB, uh, the, the mini USB uh, port. That way you can use uh, you know, USB power source. So this one's going to be a little bit different. It's got a flexible line for uh, the HDMI dongle. Um, that way it basically just hangs down instead of getting in the way of your other HDMI cables, which is a nice touch. Uh, as always, it's going to have um, support for YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, uh, HBO Go, and I would imagine HBO Now, uh, ESPN, um, Google Store, Google Play, whatever they call it, uh, also uh, Showtime, CBS, all that stuff. So, yeah, here's a box. Very nicely packaged, too, um, although the, <laughs> the, it's like a cardboard box container. It almost feels like you're buying eggs or something from from a farmer's market, but uh, overall pretty nice. Uh, nothing too flashy. It's not like uh, some kind of crazy Apple device. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of here. Ooh. Oh, oh, there goes that little tab that they that they built in so you could tear it easily. That sucks. All right. Yeah, still can get in here. All right, we're in. All right, so sleeve uh, has a little quick start guide. Uh, you'll see there uh, as you plug into the HDMI. Then you have your USB power source. Oh, and it looks like it also comes with a, a, a USB adapter, a little travel charger. So that's cool. Um, ask you to set your com your your computer, uh, your monitor, or your TV over to HDMI, which is obviously a uh, should go without saying, uh, and tells you to go ahead and download the Chromecast app. Uh, from what I heard, there's a brand new Chromecast app. I'll be sure to to uh, download it pretty soon, and then maybe I can I can do a setup video for you guys. All right, so here's a box, a uh, nice little uh, Chrome emblem embossed into it. That's nice, and then oh. all right, so ooh, pretty nice travel charger that they kick in for free. Uh, once again with the insignia of Chrome on both sides, a uh, little micro USB there uh, with a Velcro strap, which is always nice for cable management. So nothing too surprising there. I wonder if it's 3.0. No, nope. looks like just 2.0 there. And then now let's get to the nitty gritty, which is the Chromecast, and bang. Now they have three colors available. There's like a canary yellow, a black, and then a red. Uh, Chromecast 1 was only one color, which was black. Uh, very sleek looking, but uh, I thought I'd give the red a shot. Which now in person, it kind of almost looks like a cherry blossom red. I'm not sure if you guys are uh, car guys, but that's basically like the STI red. Uh, it's very similar to it. Almost like a hot pink, actually, in this light. Uh, maybe I could take it outside and look at something different, but definitely not the red that I was expecting. So here's uh, the new Chromecast 2. Uh, oh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, there's a, a magnet uh, embedded into the, the casing of the Chromecast on the back, and then there's a piece of metal here. That way, once you're ready to travel with it, you just snap it into place. So that's pretty cool. That way, this is not just hanging around everywhere, you know, getting caught on stuff. So that's cool. That's a pretty nice touch. And uh, yeah, so basically here's the, the port here. Uh, this is the reset button that the, the Chromecast 1 also had. Um, it's very lightweight, and if it wasn't for the, the metal here, uh, yeah, I, I, I would barely feel this thing in my hand. That's what she said. Um, so it's, it's a very nice construction, doesn't feel cheap or anything. I know it's, it's plasticky and stuff like that, but it's very nicely finished. So no complaints here. Uh, nice uh, uh, silicone 
um, I guess sheath over the the cable here uh, so it definitely feels like it's gonna last a long time and the design it's a little funky but you know, I, I like it I, I see where they went with it because they they basically want you to plug into your TV like this and then have the Chromecast pretty much just hang down that way you can you know plug in your other devices next to it uh, because that was one complaint with the Chromecast one where it's just this massive freaking dongle uh, that takes up pretty much one and a half HDMI slots. So if you have three slots in your in your TV and they're all in, within pretty close proximity to each other, uh, you're pretty much gonna need to put the Chromecast one at the very bottom. That way, at least you can salvage uh, the third port and then just sacrifice the middle one. So with this one, you can plug it anywhere in those three slots and you can still keep all your three devices which is very nice touch I'm glad that they thought about that because that was definitely something that was a small gripe to me with the um, the Chromecast one um, so before I end this uh, unboxing video I'm gonna go ahead and grab my uh, Chromecast one that way you guys can see kind of the difference there alright guys so I have the Chromecast one here uh, as you can see it's basically the same concept you have uh, the mini USB here at the bottom, or micro USB, I always forget which one's it, but uh, mini or micro, whatever. Uh, the USB ports are on the bottom. Uh, here's that reset button that I mentioned. I'm not sure you can see it with the glare here, but there it is. Uh, basically has the same feature as this reset button on the Chromecast 2. And then on the opposite end, instead of having this big, um, you know, intrusive uh, HDMI um, uh, this male HDMI uh, plug coming out, you basically now have a wired HDMI. So, as you can see here, you know, this definitely takes up a lot less room. So that way you can plug in HDMIs that are right next to it. So it's, it's a fantastic uh, thing that they thought of, uh, of, in of incorporating into this redesigned Chromecast. Um, you know, it's a lot more ergonomic. It's going to work better uh, if you have a lot of HDMI devices on your TV. So um, you know, it definitely shows them uh, that they're looking at every single detail, which you know, it's, it's Google, so you kind of expect that. Uh, but yeah, right there you can see the size difference there uh, on where um, the Chromecast will plug in into the HDMI port. But yeah, there you go, guys. Quick little unboxing video and uh, comparison to the, the Chromecast 1. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe for more unboxing videos. I don't do a ton of them unless I get something you know kind of cool in the mail. Uh, I just recently up upgraded my s uh, iPhone 6 to a 6s. I was going to do an unboxing video, but it's it's an iPhone. There, those unboxing videos are always the exact same thing. So uh, look for more unboxing videos in the future if I get something interesting for you guys. Uh, I also try to make. Uh, a setup video for the Chromecast 2 that way you can see how you physically put it into your TV and set it up with your network all that good stuff so uh, yeah thanks you guys so much for watching uh, subscribe for more like this video if you like it and if not uh, you know that dislike button doesn't exist so pay no attention to it alright uh, thanks again guys see you guys on the next one bye bye